Well, Rick, Scott Satterfield is gone. We woke up to the news early in the morning. Uh, this kind of arranged marriage, as I call it, between Satterfield and the University of Louisville. They liked each other. It was never really true love, and now it's over. He's gone to Cincinnati. What do you leave his tenure from Louisville uh, with the impressions, and what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, I think in some ways he had an unfair deal. I don't think people ever really warmed up to him. But he also made a huge mistake uh, his second year in the job when he flirted not once but twice with the South Carolina job, really wasn't straight with Vince Tyree about it. And that sent the signal to Louisville fans that he wasn't all in on this job, and they didn't need to hear that at that point. And I think that's part of the reason he's gone. Uh, I think he wanted more money or more years on his contract because he saw uh, that, you know, the fan base really wasn't invested. He needed to know if they were going to invest in him, and they decided not to. And so he went to Cincinnati, uh, which is a pretty good landing spot considering what he's achieved, only one game over 500 at Louisville. Yeah, it's a very good landing spot. You look at where the coaches there have gone on to, and they've all had success. Here at Louisville, it was just strange because Louisville went after Jeff Brom, and it, the timing wasn't right, and the money wasn't right, and they didn't get him. So whoever they got after that, was going to be second choice, and it was not going to be anybody that, that the fan base was thrilled with. And, and on top of that, you know, he was following Bobby Petrino, who'd had a ter terrible season, but he'd also had a, a Heisman Trophy winner in Lamar Jackson. And this is a fan base that's won a Sugar Bowl and won an Orange Bowl. They have been used to winning big things much bigger than Satterfield was able to deliver. He did not deliver NFL-level talent from a recruiting standpoint. So there's not a lot of broken hearts in Louisville today as he leaves, he was a good man and a good coach. He was not a great coach, didn't have great results. We start to look forward now. You can see a lot of our speculation and reporting at our website, WDRB.com. Go there and click on sports.